Hello, my name is Ryan Hickley and I work in the Instructional Technology Center here at CSU Pueblo. And today we're going to be talking about Pixlr, the photo editing service available online. Now, Pixlr was created for non-professionals to be able to do some photo manipulation. So what that means is if you were ever turned off by downloading Photoshop and seeing how many buttons and options and preferences and panels and tools there were at your disposal and it just sort of seemed overwhelming, Pixlr does a good job of scaling that down so it's more accessible to a wider audience. What's good about Pixlr as well is Pixlr is free online. Uh, you don't even need to log in necessarily to be able to get it to work and edit and use all of their different uh, services. So if you ever wanted to try Photoshop or get into image manipulation software, this is a great chance for you to do it for free. So what they did is they took a lot of the most used tools in Photoshop and pared them down to just the most useful and broke them down into three separate areas so that it wouldn't be as intimidating. The first one that they have is Pixlr Omatic, which is the lowest complexity of these editors. Uh, they, they call it playful here, and really that is because all you're going to be doing is adding some little photo filters and effects to your images, sort of like Instagram if you're familiar with that at all. The second level is Pixlr Express, which is they call it the efficient editor and what that is is it gives you some limited options and really it's best for like single photo manipulation there's no layering there's nothing like that but you can color correct you can take out red eye crop stuff maybe even add a little bit of text but really that's it uh, we'll, we'll talk about that one too in a little bit and then the most advanced one is Pixlr editor and that one's the most like Photoshop but again it is pared down so that you don't get as many options uh, I use Photoshop every single day and I've been using Pixlr for about the last two weeks since I heard about it and really I've been able to do about 80% of what I would do to, uh, in, a, in a normal day in Photoshop uh, with just Pixlr. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to start off with is Pixlr-O-Matic just so we can kind of get into this and get a feel for the software. 